efficiency has got um, two major objectives, if you like. Efficiency of producing pig meat. In other words, uh, how many kilograms of food does it take to produce one kilogram of pig meat? The second element of efficiency is nitrogen output. And they really are both part of the same objective because the more nitrogen the pig retains from its diet, the less comes out the other end. One of our programs is looking at uh, the efficiency of utilizing different protein sources. Uh, a pig diet contains quite high levels of protein. Um, that's quite close to what we need, to be quite honest. Um, so we're looking at protein raw materials, which go into a, a pig diet. And protein can come from things like uh, soybean meal, which is imported from North and South America. We can also find protein from home-produced proteins like uh, peas and beans. There's also canola meal. If you look around the country in May, June, all these yellow fields, yellow flowers, that's canola, and it's grown for its oil. And when you remove the oil, you're left with a, a protein commodity. There's another newish raw material developed now from the bioethanol industry. We're now growing a lot of our wheat in the UK. It's now being used to generate biofuel. And it's, when, you, when you do that, you're fermenting the starch and you're left behind with a raw material that's also fairly high in protein. So there are a number of options of protein raw materials which can be used to manufacture a pig diet. Oh, it's massive. I mean, uh, and there, there are lots of different avenues to explore. I mean, it's moved away from the traditional pig efficiency. It's now much, much wider. We're talking about carbon footprint. Um, we're talking about uh, nitrate vulnerable zones which in the UK are areas which already have an excessive amount of nitrogen being spread onto them. So there are limitations on what you can do. So it's a whole new avenue of interest. It's different from the more traditional approach to, uh, to feeding a pig.